here with Lars Anderson. Uh, one nothing win against Juwan tonight. Coach, just opening remarks. Well, I think anytime you look back at a season, and I've been at this for 30 years, I don't recall one year in my third year collegiate career that I wasn't able to look back at the season uh, that we just finished and, and I could point to one or two games and say, that was a win, but it was an ugly win and it was a character building win. I wouldn't classify this as one of our best performances, uh, although we dominated probably 85, 90% of the game. Uh, we had plenty of opportunities uh, to go uh, uh, you know, ahead early on. Uh, we didn't do that and that's a little frustrating when you play a well-coached opponent. They obviously had a little bit of a different game plan. Uh, when you play reverse fixtures like we do now, which is rare in, in college soccer, you have to anticipate opponents coming in, taking a look at the standings, taking a look at the KPI, and, and, and figuring, you know, a nil-nil result away at Pembroke is a good result. Uh, they played uh, much more defensive-oriented than they did when we played them up at their place when they really tried to play on the front foot. Uh, we had anticipated that, and obviously, uh, final shots were what, 24 to five. Uh, you know, we, we, we dominated the game, but you know, shots is not what uh, dictates the outcome of, uh, of the game. I mean, you count goals scored and, and we only managed to put one across the line, but that's good enough. I, I'm, I'm proud of the players. It wasn't our best performance, but as I stated, uh, you have to have some ugly wins along the way in any successful season. So I, I you know, bottom line is I, I'm proud of the ladies for finding a way to win. Uh, in your last six games, you guys are 5-0 and 1. Just talk about maybe these, these last couple weeks of how your team's maybe started to pick it up at the right time. Well, I think, you know, we got off to, we had some injuries early on and, and uh, you know, quite frankly, I, I mentioned this uh, numerous times. I think uh, this program has very high standards and we set very high expectations. And I think uh, at, at times early in the season, we were prisoners of our own standards and our own expectations. And I've said that over and over again, that's a good thing, right? Uh, that means our program is successful, has a history of being successful. Now it's it's my job as a gaffer to, to figure out how to how to let, get players to settle down and, and live with inside of those expectations. And, and I think we've uh, found a way to do that now. And we're, we're starting uh, to feel like we're, we're, we're coming in our own and, and growing into the season. And it's a good feeling. What can you say about the defense today, given that they only allowed five shots? You know, I think that the most challenging part when you play a team like this is uh, the fact that the back four, the goalkeeper, maybe you're holding midfielder, you're six, they don't have a ton to do. Uh, and then all of a sudden they may be called upon four or five times in crucial moments and, and, and to be able to then come up big is, is huge. Really for a goalkeeper to be in a situation like this is really tough. You're maybe a little cold, you haven't seen the ball a lot, you haven't seen a lot of action. So I, I, I'm proud of the, the way we play defensively. It was another shutout and I thought we were rock solid. I thought our time management after we went up 1-0 was maybe, uh, you know, we, we, we could have been a little bit better about uh, uh, making the clock uh, move a little faster uh, tactically, but but um, all things said and done, I'm, 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 and you know, when I say our defense, uh, we always talk about we defend with all 11. It starts with our three front runners, but really the back four and, and, and our goalkeeper did an amazing job today, even though they had very little to do. Coming out of that second half, what adjustments did you make that well, I think, you know, it was much more of the same. I mean, we realized that, okay, I think we outshot them 14 nothing in the first half. Uh, ladies, if you just stay patient, it's one thing to, you know, sit at halftime and go, this is not working, the game plan is, is not coming to fruition, we have not created any chances, we put ourselves in plenty of positions to score goals, we just needed to settle down, relax a little bit and find a way to score. So it was uh, just keep doing what we're doing. We made a couple of little tweaks, we talked about having a little bit more urgency in the final third. Uh, seemed like, uh, strangely enough, we had more urgency in the in the back and in the midfield, and then we got to the final third and we kind of slowed the game down a little bit. And, and when you play a big, physical, strong uh, team like, like uh, Chowan, that's not what you want. Uh, you got to play a little bit faster, have a greater sense of urgency in the final third, and I think that's one minor tweak that we made and, and, and uh, that helped us ultimately win the game. Barton, FMU, and Mount Olive uh, end the season. What is the game plan going forward with those last three? You know, I hate to do Bill Belichick on you, but on to the next game. And the only thing I know right now is that we're playing Barton on Saturday. But really, in this KPI pod system, that's the way you got to look at it. Uh, you just have to focus on the next game. 
And if I've learned anything about this college season, and I'm talking about our entire region, uh, we're talking the SAC, the PBC, and the Conference Carolinas, there are some unbelievably strange scores. I've always, I call it soccer math. Soccer math does not work. We beat such and such a team, and, and they beat so and so, therefore we should beat that team. It doesn't work that way, but I have seen some crazy scores across the board this year. So, and when you know that's coming, uh, you can't worry about what's going on around you. You have to focus on your task at hand. Our task now is to beat a Barton team that we beat 8-1 here at home. I don't think for a minute that we're going to go up there and beat them 8-1. Uh, they have a good coaching staff. They're good players. They just beat Francis Marion. I mean, they're they're going to uh, go into this game full of confidence and thinking, make a few changes, and we, we can um, we can play with the uh, UNC Poundbroke. So so we're going to take tomorrow off. We always take 24 hours to kind of uh, you know process what we've just done, and then it's on to Barton. Thank you, coach. Thank you.